The Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And if this is your first visit, I sure would appreciate it if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button down there. And remember to hit the bell as well. You don't want to miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. We went to North Carolina and we're on our way back. We're on the home, home leg of a 2,000 mile journey. 10 campground, two weeks. It's been crazy. Right now we're set up at Roosevelt State Park in Mississippi. We're done here. We're only here, we were only here for one night. Now we're about to load up and head further west into Louisiana, and we're gonna pay a visit to a Corps of Engineer campground, Beaver Dam Campground. I don't know much about it. I found it on recreation.gov and it's on my way home, so that's what we're doing. We drive 230 miles and stop. We're done for the day. So let's go pay a visit to Beaver Dam Campground and see what it's all about. Let's go. We have arrived beaver dam campground in the kisachi national forest that's just north of minden louisiana not too far from shreveport we are in site number 15. check this out talk about a spacious site you could fit a <laughs> you could fit a big rv in here trudy looks kind of small now it's an ADA site. We're going to put air quotes around that. It's got the wheelchair accessible picnic table and the handicap burn barrel. But somebody has been building really big hot fires in there and the, the grate uh, is, has failed. So... You'll, you'll need somebody to help you build a fire. We have the ubiquitous lantern hook, couple neighbors, asphalt pad, super level. We didn't even pull out the yellow jack pads. It's so level. Now it is a water and electric only site, but it is 50 amp. Looks like somebody's 50 amp got real hot at one point. The water is way up there, so plan ahead and bring plenty of water hose. We're here for one night, and I don't have a Louisiana fishing license. These guys do. They were out fishing earlier. They said they, they didn't get anything. They got a couple bites. I said, that sounded like a fisherman's tale to me. Anyway. If we were here for a, any length, any longer than just one night, I would certainly want to get a, a temporary Louisiana fishing license because we have water access. We don't have to climb down a hill. We don't have to do that slick rock scramble. We just walk right down here to the lake. And there you have the lake. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember the name of this lake. But if you search Beaver Dam Campground, Louisiana, you'll find it. All right, let's go see some stuff. Beaver Dam Campground, Kisachi National Forest. This is actually Caney Lake. We're on the other side of the lake. 
momentarily we're going to go check out the boat ramp but before i did that i wanted to go down here and check out the the overflow called beaver dam lake but this does not look like a beaver dam to me this is concrete this looks like a man-made ramp There you have it, Caney Lake. We're back over there somewhere. I think we're around that bend. Let's go see a boat ramp. So if you have a boat and you're coming out to Can uh, Beaver Dam Campground in the Kisachi National Forest, you might want to put your boat in the water. This is your boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, That's a pretty lake. All right, let's go see what else we can find. Surprise, surprise. The Kisachi National Forest Caney Lake Recreation Area actually has a beautiful little beach and a very spacious day use picnic area with just about 50 or 60 picnic tables out there with charcoal grills. We got a neat little bridge to go. I sure wish Little Red was was running. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that problem when we get home. Meanwhile, it's a good thing we have image stabilization on the camera because I gotta hobble across the bridge. This is just too cool. This would have been really fun to scoot across. How pretty that is in there. I was honestly surprised about the beach. I didn't expect to see that. There's a lot of times when, when you when you go to these out of the way places and you see a sign for a beach and you get there, it's not what you really what you'd call a beach. Two lane boat ramp and a courtesy dock. You're going to have a hose so you can wrench your boat off. This is what we're after right here, though. Now, I could have just drove all the way around. But I really wanted to go across that footbridge. Now here we are at the fishing dock. This is a big one too. So you don't have to have a boat if you want to fish Caney Lake, Lake, Caney Lake. Now 
I just have to go back. It's worth it though. Let's go find some more stuff. Let's go see some more stuff. We're back of the truck. Just in case it didn't come through very well on video. Before, I was quite surprised to find a beautiful little beach here on Caney Lake at the Kisachi National Forest. They actually have a very, very expansive day-use picnic area up there. We'll go see some of that. Let's go see some Caney Creek, Caney Lake. Caney Lake. We did a Caney Creek some time back, not too long ago. That was on Lake Texoma, Caney Creek Park. We're at Caney Lake in the Kisachi National Forest. A little day use area. So we have the fishing dock and the boat ramp. And then on the other side of that little cove is the 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 beach. What I'm most most interested in is the is the dam over here. But like somebody forgot their smoker. Maybe, maybe there's something to eat. Let's see. Nope. But the bottom's rotted out of it. So as I was coming around the curve in the road up there, a couple, couple of does with fawns ran across the road. So there be deer in these here woods. All right, we're gonna go see some stuff. Just, I'm gonna turn the camera off while we get over there. I think I may have found a honey hole. Oh, got it. Echo. Looks like there's fish down here. Oh, there are. Rather large fish. I don't know what they are. They're big though. Catfish? No, oh, maybe carp. It's gotta be carp. Hard to tell because the water's kind of murky. Yeah, they're carp. I just saw a big tail. They're very big carp. Big carp. Some of those, some of those carp are two or three feet long. In case you're wondering, this is the, the overflow for the Caney Lake Dam. Curiosity got the better part of me. Now, how cool is that? Still, there is still an echo here. That's a pretty cool effect. It's like being at the races. That's funny. Well, that was fun. Let's go find some more stuff. Kisachi National Forest. 
Caney Lakes Recreation Area. That's actually over there. This is Caney Lake. This is the dam, and we were just over there at the spillway. I just drove around to the south side. A uh, train! Stay tuned, more to come. So if you're coming to, to Beaver Dam Campground, there's your map, in case you want to see, you are here. Be advised, there are alligators. There are alligators in Caney Lake, and they are an important part of Louisiana's ecology, ecosystem. Don't mess with them, and they won't mess with you. More to come, stay tuned. There's a lot of really great campsites here at Beaver Dam Campground. There's a number, number six, and five, five and six. I mean, super private, <clears throat> with the exception of the site across the street, you don't have any neighbors. All those great things I was saying about park staff and cleaning up the campground, guess I was wrong. Well, we're done here. Caney Lakes Recreation Area, Beaver Dam Campground. We have come to the end of our visit. Man, what a, it's just too short. I mean, one day, one night is not enough. This place is, this is tranquility. There's not a whole lot of people here. It's Friday. You know, there's a couple couple other campers have rolled in, but for the most part, this campground is empty in July, for crying out loud. So if you're traveling east or west on I-20, you want to put this one on your list as a waypoint stop. Take a break, do some fishing out there in the lake on the fishing dock if you don't have a boat. And just enjoy the the solitude and the tranquility of very few neighbors. Now, it just so happened that I picked a spot where yeah. people kind of in my front yard, but there, there are other sites available. I just 
it didn't want to shift that the you know for just one night we're, we're, we'll be gone and they're all right they're nice folks we talked to them put this one on your list beaver dam campground louisiana well worth the visit a little bit far of a drive if you're in the dallas metroplex area it'd be about four hours hey if this is your first visit to dude rv i'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button and for those of you who have been following along i am so honored that's why i get to do what i do that is why i am here it's for you thank you and for my patrons y'all rock y'all come back now you hear